In this video I'm going to give a quick demonstration of uh, how you can uh, convert any postscript character really, any outline character, any font character, anything that, this, that came, came to find with an outline uh, from a format in Adobe Illustrator to a format that the draw program can read. I'm not going to, to run any automatisms here. I'm going to instead uh, go through the whole process step by step so you can more easily follow uh, what it is that I'm actually doing. So I have an open uh, blank Illustrator document. I'm just going to zoom in on a certain area on the screen. Let's say down here. And I'm going to select a text item. And uh, I've chosen Edwardian script because that is very, a very mm -hmm. convoluted uh, mm, pseudo handwriting script and I've picked out uh, the letter capital S in that script and that looks like this. And let's say I wanted to make this into a code 9 element that this score program can use. Um, the process uh, that I use would, would be as follows. This is currently the uh, text string with this particular font, Edwardian script, 60, po uh, 60 point size. Um, I will take the coordinate system and place the zero zero coordinates on the uh, origin of the font character itself. I would do that for any font character that I would convert, so that I'd have the same relative positioning, uh, re relative relative positioning, of the resulting code nine elements. So again, I'm 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 setting the origin uh, on the coordinate system to the uh, origin of the font character itself that's done at this point. With the font character selected I go into the type menu and I say create outlines. At this point the element is no longer a font character but is simply simply uh, an outline item in Adobe Illustrator. The next thing I do on this particular outline um, uh, element I run a particular script that is called divide and I tell it to divide uh, each segment on the path into eight. That seems to work relatively well. I, um, it, 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 at least it appears to. That seems to be sufficient. Uh, eight um, segments. I'm going to divide each uh, segment on the path into into eight sub -seg uh, segments. And you will see the the consequence of that as soon as I click OK. Yes. As you can see now, there are far more control points on this. I have to do this because what I need to get to, of course, is to uh, um, uh, convert all smooth points on these curves, those Bezier curves with the handles that draw curves instead of straight lines, into individual line segments that are all straight. That's the only way, way that draw program can draw a character. So I have to add a lot more control points to this path than it had before. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take an element um, like this one, 8.37, 11.48 are the current coordinates of that. I'm going to um, ah, sorry, I have the wrong tool selected. Uh, well, that, that doesn't matter. I'm going to select another one. Uh, 9.24, 8.64, like that. I'm going to drag it out here. The, so the, the reason I, I do that is I need I need to now convert. I want to convert all the points on this path from smooth points into corner points, which then mean that that means that all the segments between those points are going to be straight lines, which is the exact uh, exact the way the way that draw would. Um, would draw those lines between all those points. But you can't select all of the, I, I, I don't know, I'm not an, an Illustrator expert, but it, it appears from what, I've, what I can see, uh, which, which version am I using here, let me see, I'm using uh, um, Creative Suite 4, and I guess it's version 14, I don't know. Um, If I select all points like this, 
I don't see any option up here that allows me to convert all control points or all um, smooth points into corner points at once. So I take one and I drag it way out of the area, but I, I take a note of what the coordinates before I drag it out. Then I select all remaining points like this, and now I have this option to convert into corner points. So all the points that are smooth points right now at once are going to be converted into corner points, which means that all the lines between each point are going to be straight lines. And that's already done. Now I select this one, I want to convert that to a corner point also. And I'm going to change the coordinates back to what it was before, which was 9.24 and then 8.64, and now it's back on there. Let's look at it at a higher resolution. Um, moving this around a little bit. Deselected. Nothing is selected. Looks fairly smooth, but the fact of the matter is that the entire shape is here. You can see a little ruggedness here. Each point on this path is now connected with a straight line. So this is exactly how draw would draw an ele have to draw an element like that. You can check that by selecting uh, any point on the path. Let me just take this one for instance, just pointing it out, and you can see that the lines going to the point are straight, not smooth. Take another one over here, like that. That's a uh, so two straight lines going to that point. That's exactly what I want. Okay. Um, I uh, can give a quick preview. This is the way it's going to fill. Okay, and then I'm going to increase the preview percentage to, I don't know, 1600. Okay, the next thing I have to do is go back to outlines. I select uh, the element again. I go into object and I say ungroup because there's various distinct, there's several distinct paths that I need to fil filter out one by one. I'm going to ungroup these. I'm going to start with the outer path first because that one is the one that has the black fill will have the black fill uh, definition in it. Select this particular path, and now I'm going to uh, uh, export all the control points in, uh, as as a list of coordinates to a text file. I'm going to call this one outer. Finished. Then I'll take this one. This is now an inner path. This is going to be defined as a white fill area inside the black area in the draw program. Um, and I'm going to call this inner one. Now I'm going to select this one. That's a, another distinct path. That's going to be a, f a white fill area inside a black area. I'm going to call this one inner two. Next area is this one. Telegraphics path to text. Inner three. And then finally, this little uh, dodo up here. Select that. Path to text. And that's going to be inner four. And with that, I'll have all my paths uh, exported into a text file with coordinates. Uh, now I launch Microsoft Excel and I navigate into that directory which is on my S drive, the library directory, and it was, uh, oh yeah, all my text files. I'm going to start with the outer one, open this like this. Uh, the first two lines I don't need, so this goes out. Uh, this column I don't need, this goes out. Yeah, I place a multiplier of 10. Uh, the endpoints must be the same as the beginning points in draw in order to, in order to close the area. So I'm going to copy that and place it down there. Then I'm going to copy this, go to the bottom of this list, to the top and over. Paste special. I'm going to multiply all these values by 10. And I'm going to change the format of this. Uh, to a number with no decimal points and now I'm going to tell it to start this is the third uh, input character that you need in the draw program that tells it to start a path uh, and have the start of that path be the, be the beginning of a fill area and then here I need a bunch of zeros because those are just next uh, lines on the path uh, 
Okay. Right. So this will be the outer. Uh, th these are all the uh, um, the vectors now of the outer uh, path on the uh, draw element that I'm drawing with a black fill definition. Okay. Now I'm going to open my first inner path, which is inner one dot txt, like this. Again, take out the first two lines, then take out this column. Um, put in the 10 multiplier. I just played around with that and it seems to work fairly well. You could probably use something else anyway. 10 is what I use. Copy this. Go down to the bottom of this list and then home. Paste special. Multiply all this like that. Um, format cells. Number. No decimal points like that. This is going to be now the beginning, a, a jump two point first of all, and then be, begin a white fill area. For that, I need a three. And then it's just the following lines all receive a zero. So I'm going to copy that zero down. Right here, let me see, 481, 225. Yes, and I need the uh, beginning point again at the bottom of this list to close the area with another zero. That's fine. Now I'm going to copy all of uh, this and and place it to the bottom of the uh, first file that I was working on because I want the whole thing to be in one text file, one vector file that I can pop into the draw program at once. So I've just placed my first inner area below the outer area definitions. Now I open up the next inner area like this. Again, take out the first two columns. I mean, first two rows and uh, then the uh, C column, that's gone. Put my multiplier of 10 in there. Copy that. Go to the bottom of the list and to the top. Paste special, multiply, like that. Format, cells, number, no decimal points, like that. Uh, again, this is going to be the start of a white fill area. I need a three. I need to copy the beginning of that particular area. And of course, the end point needs, uh, needs, uh, needs to be on top of the first point in order to, to close the area. And again, all other point on this needs to have a zero as this third uh, numerical entry, like that. Uh, so this is the, the second uh, inner area now defined. I'm going to copy that to the bottom of the list of the uh, my very first one, the outer area. So now I have two white fill areas defined. Next I open my third inner area, like this. Do the same thing again. Uh, like that. My multiplier of 10. Copy this. Go down the list. Go up to here. Uh, paste special. Uh, multiply like that. Format cells like this, number, no decimals, okay. That's fine. Oh, I need to uh, again copy the first point, place it to the bottom of the list as a the end point. This needs to be three, the beginning of a f white fill area. Everything else needs a zero. Like this. Go to the top, copy, window outer area is my third inner area and now I'm ready for the last one open inner four like this take this out take column C out put my multiplier of 10 in there copy this go down the list select all those items paste special multiply like that and number no decimal points formatting done go up in here again beginning of a white fill area it needs a three here are my zeros for the rest of it like that uh, wait a minute 673 334 I need to copy the beginning point again put it at the end of the list like that with another zero okay select all of this copy go to where my first shape copy it in there this is ready to save and I'm gonna yep like this so that's been closed and saved now I open it as a text file
uh, it's been converted into a text file with tab uh, character uh, delimiters. I can't use that. I need to have the tabs replaced by space characters. So I do a replace command, which looks for tab characters and replaces them with space characters, like that. Close, close, and now it's all nice and clean. Close this. Yep. Now I go to the um, draw program and I'm ready to draw uh, read, read in the element. It's called outer.txt. There is the draw element that we've just made. I use a fill command and it seems to fill, seems to fill just nicely. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to save this now, put it into a library that I don't, don't have yet, libxa. I'm going to call this one, um, I don't know, um, cap s. How about that? Cap s. Uh, actually, let me save it as something else. S a. XB. I'm going to call this one test like that. LibXB. Okay. LibXB. Exit this. S3. Uh, A1. P1100. Okay. 515.7 T. I knew that. I just want to give you that slot. I looked it up before. Anyway, that's the element I just made. Looks like that. Uh, and to see how it looks when it prints when it prints out, I go into my print menu, and I say create PDF of current page. I'm going to create it on an A4 page. And the PDF has been created. And here it is. And I'll zoom in on that. And that is the code 9 element that we've just made from uh, the font called Edwardian Script, which is uh, an open type font that I put into Adobe Illustrator, where I, where I chopped every path like a segment into eight um, additional segments, converted all the smooth points to corner points, uh, then uh, exported all the, uh, the path point uh, uh, coordinates into um, five distinct text files that I then manipulated and combined in Microsoft Excel with a little bit of manipulation in, in Notepad and then you're ready to read the entire thing into the draw program and you're finished. Now if you look at the complexity of this character and you were thinking about doing this one yourself from scratch in the draw program I think you'd sit on that, sit on that for hours, literally hours, and I still don't think it would look like this. I, I don't think it would be uh, it would be nearly impossible to actually recreate this character in the draw program simply by trying to emulate it by placing the vectors yourself. But with the help of Illustrator and a few additional tools, you can now import a character like that into your Code 9 library and have it accessible at all times. Anyway, that's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.